Man, it feels good to be alive. Hey, not killed by the government. Hey, not killed by the CIA. You can let them know they can see my A. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's check out this TikTok video I've been doing. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> A hundred sixty thousand. Damn. Damn. Boy, mate. After all the attention the last video on TikTok has gotten, which I'm so grateful for, by the way, we're gonna do a Q and A. I reckon it's time because there's tons of questions about microwave pyrolysis. It's all that chemistry stuff that we we were traumatized by in high school, so we don't even want to remember it. Okay. But guess what? I'll help you understand it, break it down for you better. So leave your questions down below. I'm taking the top three questions of today, okay? And we're gonna do a Q&A, so leave your questions now. Leave them now. Have a good cup of tea. Peace out. Mm. Delicious. I'm here today with my interviewer. Uh, I'm Barack Obama. Uh, no, you're not. You're my interviewer. Actually, I'm Barack Obama. <laughs> Whatever. All right, anyways, read the first question for me. Uh, question number one. Does this emit CO2? Yes. Plastic is a fossil fuel made of crude oil. Just like all petroleum products, it will emit CO2. The difference is when the plastic is left in the ocean or in landfills, it will slowly emit not only CO2, but methane as well, which is far worse of a greenhouse gas. So if the microwave power is sourced from renewable sources, it is 100% carbon neutral. And actually, this process can be carbon negative as well if we bury the carbon byproduct in the end underground as a form of carbon sequestration. Well, maybe you should have shown this in the video. <laughs> you know, how are people supposed to know? You suck at your job. You stink. Anyways, I mean, think about it. Michelle would never know I was president if I didn't show her the White House. Man, shut up! Oh, I love you back. Next question, please. Uh, how does it work? Can it be scaled? How can I build one? Alright, well, the process of pyrolysis is done in a completely sealed reactor, free of oxygen. This is not the same as burning plastic at all. This causes the plastic to instead thermally break down into the liquid without being combusted. Instead of smoke, we get a syngas. Instead of dioxins, we get pure elements. This, in theory, can be scaled. Though, right now I just have a mere prototype. So there's no telling unless I build the big one. But if you want to build one, it is more than possible with some tools, trade skills, and passion. What is the search nature? Could this possibly hurt the ozone's layer? No, not by any means does this harm the ozone layer. I didn't show it in the video, but I have a very complex catalytic filtering system that catches and deals with any and all potential pollutants. The only emissions of this would be CO2 and water vapor, which are not harmful to the ozone layer in any way. Microplastics are also an issue people believe are in the fumes. This is not the case, because the fumes can only be formed from chemically broken down plastic. So for the fumes to even exist, plastic needs to be superheated to a point where even the smallest microplastics are absolutely obliterated. This is not recycling. By the end of this process, there is not any more plastic to be left over. We are chemically destroying it. Even if microplastics did make it in the fumes, my filtering system would easily catch them. I have a bonus question. Bonus question? Uh, what would you do when the government comes for you? Bro, look what I give two dams about the government. I'm, I'm dressed like the CIA. I am the CIA, mate. I half the time, what are they gonna do? Come over and take a piss on me? I mean, and look, it doesn't even matter, right? Look, at the end of the day, this technology will prevail, it will work, 
And if it's not me that changes the world through it, it's gonna be somebody else at the end. So what was that? Uh, must have been the wind. Ain't no damn wind, man. There was somebody there. Uh, who was it? What's up? No. Listen, gentlemen, we have business to handle. Business. You know, Michelle told me you can save 50% more with Geico. Shut up! 